Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to we're gonna look at VOR navigation and then specifically the outer, middle and inner marker. Which will help you to find out if you're on the correct glide path when making a landing on an airport. We're currently located uh, near Seattle. As you can see here's the city of uh, Seattle and if we would I would say look a little bit closer there you can see Tacoma Airport right also known as uh, Kilo Shara Echo Alpha so also known as Seattle International Airport even so to use the outer inner and um, or outer middle and inner marker the first thing you need to do is you need to set the uh, navigation radio and to do that we need to zoom into this one and here we can set the navigation frequency by using the large button to move or to change the uh, number before the dot and the small one to change the number after the dot. So I already looked up the ILS frequency or the DME for uh, runway uh, 16 Lima uh, because I think that I will be assigned that runway. It's always a bit tricky, but let's find out. And the frequency for the VOR of that runway is 110.3. So to activate it, we're gonna swap the frequency. And here we can see that it now has updated uh, this uh, meter it says we're flying to but actually I think this is an error because we're flying from the uh, runway uh, from the VOR and here we've got the uh, let's say lines which show us if we're going the correct way so for example if we're if this uh, line is in the middle then we're actually flying straight from the uh, channel and if this line is in the middle then we're f flying on the correct altitude Enough talking, um, let's uh, first make a turn uh, to the right. And in the meantime, let's describe what those markers are, right? So the outer marker, which is the blue light here, will start to blink and will make so it will start to make sound. Um, when you're approximately, uh, say, 1.8 miles or sorry 1 mile or 1.8 kilometer uh, from the airport and also uh, from the uh, the glide scope right you need to make sure that this that this line in that case is in the center and that you're flying at an altitude between the 2400 feet and 4200 feet uh, that will make sure that it's capturing it correctly um, so that should be normally should be fine so let's first try to uh, gain that one we're not ready yet with our uh, turn i'm leaving the vfr map open to to show you uh, where the airport is uh, so here's seattle airport or actually no it's even a little bit lower, it's here. Here you see it. We're currently positioned here. So we're flying uh, first uh, to this waypoint. Or oh, we're making the turn. And then we're flying over the other airport. And then hopefully we're flying straight into uh, Tacoma Airport. close this one and then we're gonna contact approach because we want to uh, request access or we want to request permission to land uh, let me see if it's here here is Tacoma Airport so we tune into the tower and then we need to wait And Delta 
A lot of talking, right? So we can't ask permission. So now press D4. Seattle Tower Cessna Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra is one four miles north with India to land. Cessna Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra. So we're gonna make a straight, make straight in runway one in runway sixteen Lima. So we're gonna confirm the uh, acknowledge pattern, right? So we've been assigned runway 16 Lima. As you can see, it's pretty, pretty busy at the airport. Um, and a nice thing is that we can, can see the airport from here, right? So we can make the turn. But in addition to that, we can use the uh, this instrument because this line will uh, switch to the middle or will slowly turn to the middle and then once we're, let's say, straight flying to the VOR beacon, it will be exactly in the center. And then we need to ensure that this line will also be in the center. So if it forms a cross, then it's okay. So we're gonna make the turn now. Move the mouse a bit. And um, what you will see is hopefully that it will start to turn. You can see it already did turn a bit. It goes really slow, right? It doesn't go very, really fast. It's also not strictly necessary to turn very fast, of course. We need to fly a little bit further. In the meantime, we're slowly decreasing, as you can see on the altimeter, right? Because we don't want to climb anymore. should not decrease too much slowly decreasing and what you will see if we're I would say decreasing a little bit harder you also should see this line going to the center it's not moving yet a lot and say uh, what you need to be here it starts to move you as you can see we need to let's say decrease or altitude a bit more because else I can't show you the outer marker or can't. and here you can see that it's now in the middle right so if it's in the middle then you're I would say on a good position but we we need to turn up a little bit further because we a little bit too far in the meantime we're gonna decrease the altitude so that we're gonna be in the range of the uh, outer marker which is of 4200 feet Of course, can also select to use uh, to fly 2500 feet, right? I'm, I'm flying a little bit high, as you can see, compared to the other aircrafts. That's how you can use uh, the VOR to, I'd say, navigate correctly to the uh, runway, right? So, as you can see, this is the uh, Cessna 152, uh, and it doesn't have the nice displays like uh, GPS things, etc., like the other aircrafts. Hopefully, we didn't miss the outer marker. I think we're pretty good. Turn next 
clear to land runway 16 left number 2 Cessna and trade Gulf Sierra. Gonna drop the flaps a bit. I think we missed both markers, at least one of them. Maybe we were lucky. There it is, the auto marker, as you can see. But we were flying a little bit too high, I think. So, but now not <laughs> fly too steep. And you can see that the, uh, I would say, the vertical line and the horizontal line are now, say, prefer perfectly crossed at this moment. So let's uh, try to uh, keep that in place. Because if we're keeping this in place, then I would say we should make a perfect landing. And you can see that we really need to decrease the descent rate a bit. And of course, in this case, uh, since the Tacoma Airport also has the poppy lights, you can also use the poppy lights, right? So if you see two of them burning, then you're on the correct uh, glide scope. If not, then uh, you're not on the correct glide scope. So let me decrease altitude a bit more. I thought that um, Tacoma also had a middle marker, but it really depends on the airport. Not all airports do have all three of them, especially the inner marker. Uh, you won't see it a lot at other airports, um, but the middle marker and the outer marker are still used. However, they are still being or they are being replaced by uh, GPS. Uh, so it's cool. We get someone else who's flying over us. <coughs> Probably needs to do a go around, it looks like. In the meantime, we should not get distracted by it. Yeah, I see. The other one needs to do a go around. The only thing which I think is weird is when looking at the. Um, I would say instrument. It doesn't it that it doesn't change from to to from. If I looked at multiple manuals, and all of them say okay, it needs to change to from if you're flying away from the uh, VOR waypoint, which I would have expected in this case because uh, when I was flying away, it was still showing too. So that's something I will need to figure out. Uh, if you know what's causing it, then please let me know by leaving a comment uh, in the comment box. So we made the successful landing, so we can decrease the speed, and we're safely landed at uh, Tacoma Airport. Reducing speed. And they're all also going to move away from the uh, taxiway, of course. Then we're going to contact ground. And this is also where this how to ends, right? So in this how to, we looked at how you can configure the uh, navigation system to use the uh, VOR. In this case, an ILS VOR of uh, of a runway, and then use the uh, instruments to capture the glide scope 
and also to use the outer marker uh, in this case unfortunately not the uh, middle marker and also not the inner marker um, but that you can use that you will see them at other airports um, once I found uh, an airport which has all three of them I will post it as a comment uh, for this video also so you can can uh, play around with it yourself I uh, hope this video was useful for you and it explains how you can use uh, a VOR in combination with an aircraft which doesn't have all the nice stuff like GPS to make things a lot easier uh, you can still see that uh, using the VOR and the old navigation systems it still is possible to use the glide scope for uh, landing um, if you like this video then consider to use the like button if you've got questions or comments then feel free to post them in the comment box below the video and if you want to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting then consider subscribing to my channel thanks for watching and see you next time